Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video with the sledge. This is gonna be the last video of the sledge before I start the teardown. Because, yeah, I enjoy driving this truck in the winter. The 1650 and the paddles is awesome. So I've been kind of holding off on doing that whole conversion and all the Vitavon parts that I have because I just don't want it to be down for that time. But yeah, I gotta get to it. So I thought I'd bring it out today for one more enjoyable run. We've got some nice fluffy snow, nothing crazy. These paddles should hook up. Yeah, they're gonna hook up. All right, let's go back down there, bud. Just go straight down there. Yeah, I'll, I'll meet you there. Oh, this truck is so much fun. I think I've said it before, the 1650 Mama Monster X8S is my favorite combo. And I don't like that pole. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why that pole's there, it's because these are parking spots. But it just looks weird when you're in the parking lot and there's no cars here. It looks like it's just kind of in the middle of the middle of the parking lot. <laughs> we were just out, you can see all the other marks with the UDR. That didn't go well at all. Steering stopped and it just didn't hook up at all. So yeah, I brought the sledge because I knew the sledge would be awesome. So I thought, ah, oh, the UDR lets me down. I'll be able to run this beast. <laughs> and I tried doing this in the UDR and I just tried it with the sledge and it's not working. There's just too much snow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come over here, bud. We're gonna try this again. Oops, I'm gonna be stuck. Nope. Hopefully this works out again. Turn car. Oh, we're stuck. Oh. All right. We need a little bit more speed. All right, let's try this again. This time with a little bit more speed. There we go. This is my favorite winter truck. Do this one more time and then we'll try to figure out something else. All right, um, what should we try next, Liam? I wonder how much we can climb this thing. Mightn't be a complete waste of time, but we'll see what happens. Uh, Right around here, and then face that way. And there's big chunks in there, which I'm worried about, but. Okay, no, that's not what I want to do. Oh, come on. <laughs> I go. That's not gonna work. I need to get the speed. Uh, 
Oh, wait. Nope. Uh. Over here, Liam. Let's see what we got over. We got this big pile. Just this pile doesn't go anywhere. Except for into that pole. Oh, we're upside down. Come over here, Liam. Oh jeez! <laughs> okay, so that didn't work the way I thought it was going to. It looked like a big jump. Yeah, from far away though. Oh, it's very slippery. upside down. Let's see if I can go ripping through here. Oh, it spins out. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Didn't work either. Like right now, it's just too much.
I'd like to see, Liam, if I can just make it through something. <laughs> Clearly not that. Think I'll make it through? Think I'll make it through? I know what we'll do, Liam. We'll do like what I was telling you. Oh, that's not good. Do it again. Here we go. I got an idea, Liam. Please tell me you got that. Eh? Hey? Okay. Try that again. That was weird. Okay, um, we're gonna try leave him over here. We're gonna try another, like a, oh, I think, uh, maybe we're done, Liam. I keep losing power. So I keep losing power. All right, guys, we're home. We've got the truck back on the bench. It's all cleaned up. That was LVC there, by the way. It seems lately when I hit LVC, I don't even realize it because I've been, I think lately, every time I go out with a vehicle, I either break it or it's just caked with snow and it makes it kind of useless that when I actually have a full successful run, I'm kind of surprised when I hit LVC. So it usually takes me like 30 seconds after it happens to realize what's going on. But anyways, guys, uh, yeah, truck sitting there. It's all cleaned up. It's all dried off. Another fun run. You probably saw my son in the video. He was recording with the iPhone. I was going to kind of do sort of a mixture of the two videos, the GoPro footage and the iPhone footage, but there was so much that it would have taken me forever. And the video guys itself would have gone on forever. So this is going to be the GoPro cut. And then I'm going to do a second video. Uh, I'm going to call it the iPhone cut, I guess, with all the footage that my son collected. There's some pretty cool stuff there. But either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is 
going to be, and I think I've said this the last few times I've ran this truck, the last video before I get to upgrading it. So the next time you see this ledge, it'll be sitting on the bench, probably with all the parts, because I've gotten, guys, a lot of stuff for this video. If you watched the last one with the Typhon, I would have shown you guys some of the KCRC shock towers that I picked up. I've also got the B, C, and D block. I'm just waiting for the A to come back in stock. I think it did. It might even be on its way to me. So all these parts, guys, are going in, as well as the Vitavon parts that are over here. I've got a lot of fun stuff, guys. This is going to be a pretty crazy build when I'm done. It's already, guys, crazy. I've got the Vitavon chassis, KCRC motor mount, Basher Queen shock towers. And I should mention this, guys. I love these towers, and I probably will go back to them. I just wanted to do something new for a bit, so that's why I picked up the KCRC 7075 towers. But I probably will, at some point, go back to those towers, go back to the Basher Queen carbon fiber shock towers, just because they will help me shed a little bit of weight. But anyways, guys, that is it. If you enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, and have a great day.